Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Leh Nodding. In this episode, I'll be sharing um, this Node 3 setup that I created using Blender and the latest version of Geometry Nodes. This is Blender 2.92 Alpha. I believe the the official will be released somewhere next year in February. Uh, for now, this is just another quick demonstration. So, in order to create something like this, it's a uh, um, and I'm using just simple nodes. I'm using SphereChalk nodes to generate uh, the geometry to generate this. So it's like a bunch of objects. And uh, so this is just another point distribution. As you can see here, let me reduce the number. So it's just a point scatter of a lot of objects on Susan head. Okay, if I select, if I select this object, so this object is apparently just alpha, and this alpha is using geometry modifier over here. Okay, and I could control a lot of things, like I could plug this into the seed. Now we have this seed to control the object. Um, what else can I do? I believe this object is also rotating. If I plug this in, so yeah, it is also rotating. For now, I'll just leave it without rotations. So it's just simply um, scattering, scattering bunch of points, and then I modify the the rotations and the scale of these objects and then I instance some geometry so the geometry objects can be just a simple objects or collections in this case I'm using collections inside the collections here that I, I hide um, is a bunch of objects and it's all coming from stretch -off. so I created the whole geometry just simply using nodes. So these objects now, uh, let's take a look. We have Susan head, which of course output this alpha. So this is the original objects. I can change the size. It's gonna affect the final result. And so the other objects so this is outputting alpha right so the other objects is like box sphere we have torus donuts and also text object of oh, the text object is something something else is currently hidden and there's also this Susan head which is I think that's it's coming somewhere. Oh, okay. There's also these stars. Okay, this stars interesting. It's currently hidden. It's an icosphere that's been turned into dual mesh. And then there's inset special, and I can control the inset and distance. All right. So that's uh that's basically it's pretty simple. And with this geometry nodes, you can easily have another object like this column here. Cone goes into the blue. Okay, this cone, for example, just hit Control A and then apply the transform. Set origin. The geometry so this I can simply apply geometry nodes and this we have another new new geometry nodes right so the way I you can do it like point scatter for example 
point instance and then point distribute. We can also do the point separate. Okay. We have this selection, I mean we have this option random and Poisson disk. For example, using random and we, if we choose this icosphere objects, which is better. We have a bunch of stars. It's actually really really fast, um, even though it's currently in alpha. So this is how you do it. Attribute um, randomize. So we have a bunch of new nodes. Which is pretty cool. Scale. You can randomize the scale. Radius or rotation. This is minus. This is positive number. So, in just few seconds, we give just a simple description using nodes that generates this guy over here. So currently, I believe, oh yeah, it's in color because I'm assigning this material that's using the shader material that's actually creating random color so random color per object and we get this we have full control over this thing um, if I make quick changes uh, so going to Oh, I actually have three mesh modifier here. I think, I think this is for the text. Um, this is for another example. So text objects with a bunch of objects. So the density, the seed and the density can be outputted into the properties of this modifier so you can control this on the fly so this is really handy the next time you want to do this kind of effect it's already done for you you just you just give the blend to your friend and you can just simply apply this just uh, link the modifier so this is another object right select the Select Suzanne, or actually select the box and select Suzanne. Control L, link the modifier. So this cube, if we control A, assign the scale, now have the same effect. So this is the basic of geometry nodes. So I have something hidden here, text. I make the changes. This guy, yeah, this guy also will change. I think I just made a lot of objects. Let's change this to one to three and update. So in the background, text object is turned into mesh um, objects using spectral nodes. If I select this text, you can see here also we have the seed that we just added and also the density. Alright, so that's another quick look at, at geometry nodes and how it can work together with spread of nodes. So modifier, geometry nodes and spread of nodes working to, in, to do this kind of complex instancing similar to particles but this is geometry, so very likely uh, this can be remeshed further down the line. For now, uh, you cannot do that, but, but this is pretty cool and you can actually render it out.
I don't think you can bake it. Uh, maybe you can bake, you can export as objects, but yeah. All right, so yeah, give it a try yourself. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.